Warning, the following video is not intended for children. It includes adult language, adult humor, and adults who act like complete fucking morons. Now here's a video of a man trying to jerk off a horse and getting it completely wrong. Sound effects for that little, some sound board, some sound effects box we can hit. Nice. <laughs> nut. Nut. I wish we had a box for a nut button. just sound effects. We can do that. We can definitely do that. I've been hinting around that I want a sampler box for my birthday. Maybe somebody will do it. Are we on now? We're rolling. Ooh. Three, right. two, one, action. How long have we been doing this now? Like, what, three years? I don't know, man. Three or four, somewhere in there. Who knows? Three years, three seasons, with the last season kind of sh cut short. And, you know, it seems like we reboot just about every time. You know, like we try something a little different each time. More people, less people, different environment kind of look. Change the green screen back up. You cleaned up your bar last year. Like, uh, this time we're trying this. And it's, you know, it's got that morning kind of coffee talk show look to it. And it's like, you know, it's always been a talk show, right? Kind of, you know, it's, all, you know, I mean, as far as the original format boot would go, you know, I would say talk show, virtual bar is what it's been. You know, you got all your buddies here a lot of time, and we can sit and screw around and play games. And sometimes it's just you and me. We sit here, we get intimate, and like talk about we do real not shit. Get well, you know, <laughs> intimate details. Intimate details. I thought one thing about Kevin Conroy, our last episode on Stephen Three. That was pretty dark, pretty different. But I liked how we were sitting together, kind of like this. So like we're trying this. And now it's all lit up, so it's not so dark. And, uh, you know, uh, and, uh, people are dying. That's always good. I, I like it back here. This feels like we're, you know, like on the throne of the barn. Um, talking about being on the throne, I've been needing to talk to you, the viewer. This is your favorite fucking talk show. You understand? We're like... All the other talk shows, right? We're like all the other talk shows, right? We got shit to talk about, except we fucking cuss, we fucking drink, we get stupid, and it's great. Like, it's so bad, it's good, and I love that. You got a host here with neurodivergence off the ass, a host here that's got his shit together, but never shows it off, really, and then, uh, you know, we got, I can't let them, it's my fault, I talk too much. But, that's the whole point! It's relatable, and awkward, and different, just like you. And this is the Half Happy Hour. Johnny, Johnny, get out of my sight, and don't come back until it's worth my time. tell you, these news articles really bother me. Have you fucking heard about the Lulu Mom Corporation? You know what I'm talking about? Um, those stupid yoga pants I'm just saying don't, man. Fucking, this corporation, they have a store somewhere, and they got robbed. And, um, the policy is don't get involved with the, um, they keep getting a criminal. If, if the if someone's burglarizing your place of work there, then just um, I don't know, text this number or call the manager or whatever, and let them know what's happening. Well, these two women at the store. This happened several times, and I could be getting the story wrong, but they got robbed several times. And um, anyway, these two women started fighting back. They were filming the guys robbing the store. They called the police. Well, anyway. The boss comes in and fires them because they didn't follow protocol. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you own a damn business and you have people working for you. 
and they give a shit enough to try to defend your shitty product to the, from people stealing it from you, and you'd prefer them not. I mean, I, I've never supported that company, but I'm not going to start. That's that's a definite, you know, there's a Reddit, I don't really do Reddit, but you know, I watch a lot of videos where they talk about what they read on Reddit. Like, uh, yeah, I, I cliff note everything. Um, but, uh, that's a definite one for the forums right there. Like, there's uh, one called Am I the Asshole, and then there's one called yes. Am I the Devil. That belongs in Am I the Devil. Well, you know. A little bit. I don't know. Like, tell us in the comments what you think about that, because that sounds pretty shitty to me. Lulu what? I don't know what the hell, how you say it. Lulu Mon. Lu All right, so I'll, 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 I'll look that up and leave that Lulu. in my you know, the, like, the, the caption. You the pants, they're called asshole. yoga pants, but every, women are doing everything but yoga in the motherfuckers. I don't know any woman that does yoga. Mm, really, I don't know any that wear the yoga pants. But, <laughs> I mean, most women I see wearing yoga pants. Ain't doing yoga. I think a lot of women accidentally do yoga, you know? Like, uh... <laughs> I mean, you know, <laughs> by your hand three times a week, it's not You yoga. ever try to fucking just do the laundry? And, you know, the shit's down there, and then the shit's up... And you gotta do the ducks and the squats and the bends and the sideways. There's a lot of yoga involved in doing the laundry, believe it or not. I don't know, like, man. My wife don't, <laughs> let me my wife don't let me touch the machine. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no down with the dog when you're doing the laundry. Uh, my wife's too busy taking care of her entire fucking family. And I don't even want to get into it. my last uh, six months. No. We've had a lot of, you know, people no longer with us, so we're having to take the reins and pay all the bills for everything. And That's what happens, man. It sucks. I mean, you know, at least getting it done and taking, knowing that people are helped and taken care of, that's what's important, right? The same what you meant when you were yeah. in fifth grade color and said, I can't wait till I'm an adult. Oh my God. <laughs> well, welcome to adulthood. <laughs> I mean, I knew it was going to be a part of my future, right? But I just didn't think it was coming so dang fast. Yeah. I mean, I'm barely 44 coming on and uh, 44 in just another couple of weeks, man, be what? We don't talk about that around here. She took all my dope. Took all my dope. She stole my new car and left me for broke. I tried so hard to figure this out. Why can't you tell me what this is about?
We might not talk about it, but we do share a birth date. Do we really? Like no, uh, my wife and you guys, right? Oh, okay, my, your, your wife, all right, your wife. Sh- and then I'm on the 17th. Okay, you're the day after. All yeah. right, okay. So technically we all gotcha, share a birthday. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Like, I say we, but I'm part of my wife, so sure. that's how the technical works. There you go, gotcha. Like, she almost came with today. Like, she almost wanted to... Like, we've been talking about ways to dress her up and use her as a... Like, we might do some mock interviews in the future, you know, like... Uh, Bring some. Don't give it away, Dingo. Oh no, there's got to be some teasers. Like, I gotta get back into this right quick. We are your favorite fucking talk show, and what if I dress like Jerry Springer? If we're not, yes. <laughs> and I interview you. No, no, I'm interviewing you. Tell y'all. me to have. I'm interviewing y'all, and y'all are gonna start fighting. <laughs> oh my god, we could do some believable shit. Like, I had acting classes, and she's a woman, so you know we can make that work. Um, yeah, I said that. And again, this is your favorite fucking doc show, and that's why. Because, I mean, I'm hateable. And I'm also really lovable, if you give me a chance. Okay, maybe not, but still, I'll try. And I'll be here with you, and you'll watch me making these improvements year after year. If you stay with us, if you share us with the world, like, I give you this promise. You're going to see transformations like you've... My hair changed color twice over the past three years. That's a transformation. Thank you, man. Um, you tried those ketchup flavor tank chips yet? They're so good. I haven't tried them. Oh, they're so good. I was going to say me either. Oh, they're so good. <laughs> I tried them. I tried them ages ago, though. That's the thing. They came back, and they're seasonal now. So you'll get to them. Um, don't, don't sleep on them. They all dress chips. They didn't impress me much. You know, Canadians know their shit, though. I'll give them that. They were tasty, but they weren't the best. And if we're going to do this, let's just go ahead, bring it up on whatever screen we can here, and talk about this, because tater chips... I can talk tater chips all day. I can talk tater chips all day. I can talk tater chips all day. I like a good sandwich, I don't care how good it is, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna fucking make it. I don't care what you put on in my fucking shit. Whatever you see, right? Simple bag of regular laser on my motherfucker. Regular laser? Yeah, I've had regular laser, I don't care whatever chip you want. I like regular fucking laser. Like, uh, last time I made a sandwich, I didn't have the regular, so, like, I think it was pickle chips. The, the pickle flavor. The pickles get mild, Lady Henry. Uh, like she don't like it? Not at all. Oh wow! Like we go to Firehouse Subs, and mm. they, and they always give you that pickle spear. Oh oh oh! Pickle spears. And, and we request no no pickle spears. Oh. And I end up throwing them across the fucking restaurant. Mm. That's funny. You know I can see that. Speaking of pickles, have you heard about the that shitty pizza joint on TV that's fucking doing a pickle pizza now? I think I vaguely recall hearing about the pickle pizza, not so much the joint. I, it, it's, I, I don't like to plug places that I really hate, so, um, you know, um, but Pizza Hut, they're supposed to be making a, a pickle Oh, pizza. okay, that makes sense. Like, I wish all you people wouldn't have complained about pineapple. Oh, uh, because now you got pickle. Because now you got to worry about pickles on your pizza. Pickles if it's pickle pineapple. slices, and there's, that might work. I mean, I've had cucumbers on a pizza before. But it's cucumbers, you know. But it wasn't like a pizza, though. It wasn't like a. I mean, I went to a pizza place and they had all these fancy pizzas. So we tried some different kinds of pizza while we were there, kind of thing. You know, just try shit. You know, just try shit. And you know, like uh, there's already a guy who does a whole thing about pizza. Y'all know who I'm talking about, and that dude kicks ass. There's so many though. I don't know. The one minute barstool reviews. That guy. Man, uh, um, can't remember his name right now. I watched the crap out of him lately. I feel bad. Pizzas. I judge a good pizza joint by its pepperoni and its sausage. Ooh, when a pizza when it curls up just right, but it's still flimsy on the inside. Mm. Yeah. If, if their pepperoni and their sausage ain't no good, I, I don't give a shit about trying the rest of their shit. Like I can see a thought bubble popping up over here right now, and just like all this pizza porn going on. Just like. <laughs> 
Pulling I mean, strings on cheese. And I hate that fucking burnt bottom pizza. Strings on cheese. You know the one I'm talking about? Oh, at CC's, the barbecue pizza. No, no, no. I've burnt had... burnt bottom pizza. Oh. Where they where the bottom of your pizza's fucking burnt. Well, they put them in those brick ovens and they leave them in there a little too long. That's what I'm talking about. I hate that. That is kind of sad. Like, you don't want... I mean, you don't want a floppy, floppy-ass pizza. Like, that's what I've heard from the guy on the, on the reviews. I mean, I like a little bit of a floppy on a Sicilian. Like, you know, but I mean, if you're going to have like a thick, like a regular pan crust, you really don't want a whole lot of flop on that, you know. And if you get a burnt bottom on that, I mean, it's just wasted. Yeah. I mean, you say pan. I like a pan-cooked pizza. It doesn't have to be an inch thick of pan fucking dough. Yeah. But cooked in a pan, the, the dough usually doesn't burn. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, they do these pan crusts that they throw in the brick. I used to work at this one joint. Man, they had Albanians. This was like some legitimate all their dishes, and then pizza was like their one thing that they didn't really do that was, you know, because they did Italian stuff and Albanian stuff. And so, like, uh, I did a lot of short order cooking, but, like, God, their pizza was so good. It was always flat crust. But, like, uh, they had a thick crust, and the thick crust was uh, never in a pan. It was always straight up on the paddle. That's weird. And they would, you know, this big fat dough. Like, thin crust, you don't have to proof that. So, like, you know, it comes out real quick and easy. Uh, you know, the pizza crust and the thick crust, you gotta, you got to proof that. So, like, uh, after it's proofed, you can put it in anything. It's still going to come out thick. Like, uh, but if you put it in the brick oven, you leave it in too long, the burnt bottom, it just wastes. Don't burn your bottoms. Don't burn your bottoms. Well, avoid, avoid serious pizza in downtown Dallas. That place sucks. Ooh, pizza places to avoid. Okay. Um, <laughs> if you've got a commercial on TV, don't go there. It has been a long time since I've been to a bad pizza. I need to go out more, I think. Hunt, hunt that's probably my goal hunt, for this next year. you got to hunt down your mom and pa places. And like, I've been eating Thai food too much lately, so... Now, I don't, I, think there's a, I don't think there's a damn thing wrong with that. There's, you know... Oh, well, that's good stuff. Probably good stuff there, man. I mean, it's got everything you need for a balanced diet. Like, you know, uh, just don't eat too much of the fried rice and you're all good. You got hot dogs? Don't have that. Grilled cheeses? Okay, they don't have everything you need for a balanced diet, <laughs> but they're pretty damn close. I was just thinking about American kids, you know, they oh, God. hot dogs and grilled cheeses. And Matter of fact, the drone I work don't even have like a chicken nugget kind of, well, they have like crispy chicken, like, that they put in there. Did you see a canine nugget? Or a feline nugget? Dude, I just heard a cat pee right when you said that. <laughs> Dude. <I'm> sorry. <laughs> what was it? Oh, yeah, B-movies. That was the one. While we're incoherently just going on through our topics. Oh, wow. Again, your favorite fucking talk show, because that's how really it is. I mean, it's just like you're sitting around your house, chilling with your homies, and you're just incoherently going through shit, and stuff happens, and you talk about it. And it's great. So, like, you know, have a beer, sit back, relax. You kind of lose me on the B-movies, just because I really don't know what you call a B-movie. You know? Okay, like, you remember the Sci-Fi Channel, right? Back in the day, like in the 90s and 2000s, before like, you know, everybody moved on to... And now, now they're all on YouTube. They're basically called fan films now. Rhonda Shear in USA's Up All, all night. night! Oh my god. I mean, would... Um, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, like that's an 80s one. Like, would Napoleon uh, Dynamite be a B movie? Anything Troma ever made. Uh, which one, Napoleon Dynamite? That's like an A-, minus, a B plus. Because, like, it had a bunch of people you didn't really know, but the production value was just so fucking good, and it made careers. So, like, that was almost an A movie. Nowadays, people would call it a cult classic, so, like, I'm, I think it's in, like, a league. Cult films are in a league of their own. Like, I got, like, this whole series of B movies that are almost cult-like. Like, you know, The Big Lebowski, that was an A movie that became a cult film. But, like, you know, there are B movies that move their way up to A, the kind of ones I like will never be there. They'll either be B-movie forever, or they'll be cult films. Because of like, the kind of subject matter, uh, the comedy that ensued, or the history that was made by the ground they broke. Like, uh, 
I like a certain series of films myself that I just got to talk about this right quick because like once you see it you just look at it that's what you do and you keep and that's all you want to watch anymore after that is this over and over because I mean if you're a dude let's just get right out it's got titties it's got beer it's got weed it's got sci-fi shit happening it's called Evil Bongs with a Z and it's just this the first movie I'm not gonna spoil it if you haven't seen it, but there are spoilers if you haven't seen it. So like, you know, like maybe pause this, go watch that, and come back. I'll get you a can of cream corn. I'll get you a can of cream corn. Um, cream corn. The synopsis is basically, you know, there's a stoner college guy, and he needs a roommate. You know, so this nerdy guy needs a place to live in college. It works out. And there's this other super stoner living there. And they all smoke weed all day, except for the nerdy guy. He kind of cleans up. And, you know, it's just that kind of situation. These three idiots together and two idiots and one nerd. And, like, uh, one day, the smarter stoner orders a bong in the mail. Oh, there's this whole story behind the bong. He knows the story. It's a evil bong. It, it, it like, kills people, apparently, or, like, does something ghosty. Anyways, well, he gets the bong, and sure enough, they start smoking the bong, and one by one, they all get sucked into the bong. And the bong has this, like, own universe inside it. It's like Cthulhu, the bong. Caddy Lou Hoo Hoo, as I've heard him called once. Damien Hassan Smosh. And, uh... Tommy Chong is in the movie. Saves the day. And that's the spoiler. And you gotta watch that movie to really just get the just hits everywhere. If you're a guy, you like that. If you're a lesbian, you love that. What's the name of the show? Or again? maybe you don't. Uh, you know, mad respect to y'all. What's um, the name of the show again? Evil Bongs. Evil and Bongs. there's like I think eight or nine of those. And oh, it's a series now. Yes. And then the thing is, if you're a B movie horror fan, which is Evil Bongs, is like. It's a whole movie about just weed. It's all just an excuse for, like, straight up just weed, 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 everywhere, here's some weed. Like, you know, and that's great, because that's what we're about here, too, kind of. And, like, what am I trying to get at here about this? Okay, there was the Ginger Dead Man series where Nick Null, oh, Gary Busey, same guy. Um, uh, yeah, they're the same guy. They just, you know, one, one brushes his hair. And, uh, I'm Gary Busey. How are you, Gary Busey? I'm great. I brushed my hair today, so now I'm Nick Nolte. And, uh... <laughs> Just not as crazy. Goddamn. Uh, he was the voice of the Ginger Dead Man for a couple of movies. Anyways, long story short, somewhere in the series, it's Ginger Dead, Dead Man and Evil Bong, short story they have, like, a like a fight, and the Ginger Dead Man gets sucked into the Evil Bong universe, where he, like, starts to, like, create some crazy shit somewhere down the line. And like, a mad scientist and the evil Bong get together in another film to like get back at the ginger dead man, they create the ginger weed man. And then there's another movie now and that's called the ginger weed man. And again, with the tits and the ass and, and the fucking and the lots of it. And you just, if you like excuses for tits and ass and beer and weed, these are your movies, folks. Maybe not so much the Ginger Dead series. That's more like the after bake, you know? You want to definitely, like, you know, you're done smoking, you're done goofing off, you're about to watch something kind of different to pass out to Ginger Dead, man. How are these flicks you're talking? Um, the Ginger Dead series is, like, back from the 90s, like, late 90s, and Evil Bong started after 2010. And then Ginger Dead, man, was just, like, last year. Man, year before last. You know what? I, but you were talking about that movie. I don't know why I thought of it. But I read this thing today about this movie. I, I can't remember the exact name of it, but it was something about don't move, you know, a landmine or something. <coughs> oh, my God. Like, <coughs> I haven't I was, seen it. But. I was reading about it, and like, this dude, he's... <laughs> Like the students, chick, and another dude were like somewhere like I don't know uh, over in Europe, and 
exploring like this old field. And I guess one of the old boys stepped on a landmine and knew he stepped on it and didn't move. And I guess there was someone there supposed to be trying to <clears throat> figure out how to get him off of it. Yeah. But like I said, I hadn't seen this one. That movie would make me shit my pants half the way through. I was just kind of reading about Poor it. Poor guy. And like, now I kind of want to see if I can find that shit. Like, just a quick shout out to all landmine victims and family <laughs> of landmine victims. <laughs> like, you know, y'all didn't ask for that shit. Sorry. <laughs> like, I mean that. If I, if I could have stopped that, I would have. I mean, I'm not cool, so there you go. What? Sounds like we have some guests uh, pulling up. To the uh, barn. Mm. Well, they damn sure aren't pulling out. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> like oh, that reminds me of pulling out. Oh, God. <laughs> Where do you want to go today, Roger? <laughs> We're gonna drive through merry old England. Maybe we could run something over. Sorry! I think you hit that dude's coat, man. Hmm? I think I hit that dude, man. No, this is a joke. It's an Englishman trying to say dude. I'm not sure if it works. But we're going to keep trying. Stop. Looks like if I lean in this way, we can maybe see behind us there. What is that? Oh shit! Another thing I hit. Okay, um. I know, we're driving to hell and back. That's what we're doing. And oh no, it looks like I made a wrong turn. We're on the highway to heaven. There's Michael Landon. Name drops from the 80s. Oh, and oh, there's your house. We're back at the bottom now. And scene. Okay. I always wanted to try that, and I saw I had a steering wheel loose. I had to. I had to. That's just like. This is why we take notes before. See how we can improv in the middle. What do you got left? I didn't read any of the notes. Oh, no. Those were just for me because I knew I was going to forget stuff to talk about. Because, you know, the whole thing. Um, I didn't know what we were going to talk about. If you could do anything with a green screen, just pretend you were somewhere right now. Like, we're sitting here at this table, and this table's floating through outer space. We can go. See, there's outer space. We're just floating around the universe. We can go anywhere. Where do you want to go? Titty bar it is. <laughs> I was gonna say New York. It's pretty oh oh cloudy. New York. It's pretty cloudy up there right now. Oh yeah. Like the orange from the Canada fire. It's like Mars. Jennifer, my wife, she sent me some. Hey, they're about to do a new show now. Oh, celebrities on Mars. Hmm? They're doing that celebrities on Mars. Maybe they're filming up there. That fired on Mars thing that on oh, Netflix or like HBO. I saw the first episodes of that, and I didn't hate it. I wanted to hate it, because, you know, it's like the I don't like anything.
I'm straight. You don't love nothing about me, son. That is true. There's a lot of straight white male hate in the world these days. And this isn't going to be one of those episodes of things where we try to... You can hate us all fucking day. Like, you know, if it gets your attention and you're watching us, thank you. It works. We'll take your hate to start if that's what we got to do. Hold on, Mom. Spit on me. Step on me, Mommy. Hey. hey. No. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, sorry. How come there's... How come Notice there's... Me how come there's male and female Transformers? Yeah, the robots. The cartoons. Oh, ooh, that is a good one. How would they know the difference? To me, they're just... They're all robots. Boom, that's what I'm saying. Common sense, people. Now, if you anyway. go on YouTube, though, there's a guy. You probably weren't prepared for this. And I'll make sure the... This guy. He explained this, this video. Just go find this video. Link in bio, probably, or something. Probably not. Just go look for that. Um, this guy explains all of that. Like, know apparently they is. have, they have uh, an organic offspringing, how they started that way. Here you see this guy plainly just making sweet, sweet love to this guy's horse hoof. He's just petting the shit out of that horse. Just look at that. That's what you do. You just look at that. Would you look at that? Alright, now, uh, now maybe, uh, you know, uh, that's, that's the only clip of that I got. Um, this week in a recap, crap I've seen. No, it's all been on the hub. That's a different talk show, buddy. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I don't watch the hub, I watch Hamster. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I watch an X-Vid. Oh. Actually, I just watch old videos of taken of my wife while she's in the shower and not watching. They're on VHS! I'm telling you, my lovely, lovely wife, she's beautiful. She's so righteous though, man. She's like a nun. Seriously. Like, you want sex, you're getting none. So, you know, there you go. That's my, that's my dad joke for the week. And uh, yeah, one more thing I think before that. I need mean, someone to talk to you for that. I'm so We're gonna do something that they do. Uh, that you might have seen this on Rhett and Link. Good mythical morning. I sometimes like to do some of their games that they do when they get to the secondary show with Roger because we can 
We can fuck with it in ways that Rhett and Link can't. Uh, All credit goes to the game creators or the people that I've seen it do. I didn't make this up. All right, Joe. Yes, sir. This is a game called Ten Word Story. Ah. Have you played or heard of it before? No. Like, you know, I think it's something that they make up when you're kids, but, like, I've seen it on a talk show that's on the Internet, and I was just explaining. All right, so how this goes is I say one word, you say the next word. Doesn't matter what word. We just gotta try to make a coherent sentence out of ten words. All right. Okay. Are you game? Sure. Let's try it. All right. I'll go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and start this bitch off. <coughs> I said bish with an S and an H. I don't care. It has nothing to do with female dogs that Give me should never be yeah. derogatorily ever. Don't, don't call a woman a bitch ever. Just don't do that. That's bad. Unless she wants that. If she says that, hey, daddy, you know, kind of thing, give her what she wants. Just right. give the lady what she needs and wants. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now then, ten word story. First word going now. It's. Nice. To. Be here. I give you two. That was supposed to be one. Ah. That's cool. It's nice to be here. Fucking off with seeing game. Cause I lost the game, and now you have two. Right, let's try this again. I'm trying to shit a word out of my brain, can you tell? Plenty of people and my at scream loud because last word. People in my attic scream loud because it's got aired. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. All right, one more, one more. We got, we got, because I got the wrap it up signal about I don't know five minutes ago, which leaves us about five minutes. Okay. First word. Okay. We really. Haven't discussed all the problems about this game. Oh, <laughs> <we're done. laughs> that, that was a good one, though, man, because that went pretty fast. And I think that fast is a good key to this game. Right. Like, you know, like maybe we could let the two words fly, you know, like if you use it as like a hyphenated kind of situation or something. <laughs> Like, you know, just as just long as it keeps the game moving. Like, I know like that when I'm playing if it's songs... A two word, it one, like if it's a two-one word, like into. When you're playing songs, you have to, like, a lot of times blast past your mistake and keep playing. Right. So, like, it's the same thing. All right. I think that leaves us time for two more rounds. All right. Two more rounds. And we're going to start. You start? Yeah, you start. I run very naked in cornfields at the dog barn during summertime. Ooh. <laughs> that went somewhere real nasty. That's my fault. Okay. You start again. Behind. Bent. Over. People. Like. Perverts. On. Acid. And. 
A tool concert. <laughs> I, I just pulled that last part on my ass because a buddy of mine was on acid at a tool concert once. Man, yeah, I just robbed Two Face. Where you at? Like you said, we meeting at three o'clock, and you ain't here. And I just got him. Like he ain't gonna call Joker. He ain't gonna do none of that. He ain't doing nothing. I got the briefcase of money. I got it. He ain't gonna do nothing. He ain't got no goons. Okay, yeah, I'll be there. Okay. Like... Joker, what you talking about? He ain't not gonna call that Joker. He ain't nothing. He ain't gonna do Wait, oh, oh. She wanted to do a red, like give her the train ticket She said my dick is too big, but I'ma make it fit Text her phone, my number later, I'ma save a bitch She come my phone, knocked up, I'ma Let's save go, a bitch go, go, go. If you got some shit that I want, I'm taking it If you drip strip that thick grip, I'm taking it Dip quick in your sick whip, I'm taking it You'd say I'm raping it, ruthlessness, he rolls in this rap game, packs they making hits, stupid bitch, give me what you got or I'ma take the shit, make you strip, show me ass and kiss, I need all that hoe, you already know, at the club jumping so I'm yelling out Geronimo, now let's go, who really want it with me, a little bit twisted kid, I shift this joker mentality, I'll hack and dice to end your life, this vocal hostility, then keep on spitting crazy shit like I was Gordon Ramsay, high as the NASDAQ, little bit throat, I'm past that, radioactive, Need his hazmat, suit in the boot, I'm the true 
Just ask your girl if you need some crew She wild as lush one, made me bust one quick Now play a who is you? It's Manson, little bitch, couldn't be more articulate This little pump a stupid hoe And if it don't, we gon' play your shit If you got some shit that I want, I'm taking it If you drip, strip that Fucking talk show. That's what we yeah. are. That's what we are. We're your favorite fucking talk show. And this is why, because shit like this happens. And I mean, shit like this only happens like when you're just hanging out with your peeps, man. And it's like, I mean, we're, we, you might not know us yet, but we you peeps. We peeps. Some good we get with you. Watching each other. We'll fuck with you. Like you know. And if not, then you know I got friends that will fuck with you, and then they're friends, and they're friends' friends. We'll fuck with you. Yeah, it's for reals. Like we'll fucks with you for reals. Like, you know, white, black, Mexican, like, uh, culturally appropriated people, uh, neurodivergent, like, non-binary friends, what well, fucks with you? Like, you can watch us and you'll find something to relate to real quick, because stupid shit happens in your life, too. And, like, if you're hanging out with anybody like me, stupid Army. shit's gonna happen. I want to and I think that whatever. What me and uh, Roger nice. and Ben and JoJo and... All the guys down here at the barn would, would really like to convey to y'all before we split on this season four is wrap it up, B. And this is the goodbye song, my friend. We say goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. goodbye, 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 goodbye. goodbye, goodbye. The people say goodbye. Get the fuck off of the show. You got to That's that's it. It's the thing. Uh, I, I, I might stream here. I might just put a clip on. Ah! I don't know. I'll get you a can um, of cream corn. I'll get you a can um, of cream corn. I'll get you a can of cream corn.